And are you tired of lifting your waffles like a plebeian? Or waffle <laughs> the future of waffle making lifting has arrived. Yeah. Introducing the Waffle Maker Lifter Otron by Hoffle Wow's Engineering Solutions. This, uh, this product is targeted towards uh, frequent lifters of waffle makers, but it was specifically contracted by uh, Mr. Herman's House of Waffle Emporium. Uh, it was designed by myself and my colleague here, Burke Career. Uh, and the thing is, many people are having a lot of trouble lifting their waffle makers. We wanted to give these people a solution. So the, the design here is designed so that the waffle maker will go up an inclined plane with the use of a crank. All right. Uh, it was asked that it fit or did not exceed two feet in any direction and must lift a one kilogram weight 12 inches. Because everyone knows waffle makers only weigh one kilogram. Alright, um, here are just some of our brainstorming sketches. This was my idea, those are Noah's ideas over there. Um, mine started out with a bunch of really weird pole leaves that probably wouldn't have worked. It led into a lever that spun a wheel and axle which ultimately lifted the weight. Here was just another idea of how we could use pole leaves and connect that to the lever up here. Um, Noah's idea started, his first idea started with a gear train that led into a movable pulley that pulled up a lever, and that lever in turn spun a wheel and axle that lifted the weight. Um, this second idea, we both kind of mixed our, our ideas for both of our first ones and collaborated together. It started with a gear train that leads into a fixed pulley. That fixed pulley then lifts this lever, spins a wheel and axle, and that lifts a movable pulley, and the weight would be attached to the movable pulley. Um, here we just have some different sketches on how we could work out this gear train that would eventually lift the lever. Um, here's our decision matrix. Um, we ultimately decided on that last design. The really deciding factors were themes, um, total IMA, and percent efficiency. Um, that last one had a lot of different mechanisms that would increase the IMA, so we ultimately went with that. And we kind of overestimated the percent efficiency we get out of it, because as you'll see later, we have a really bad percent efficiency. All right, here. Uh, the <laughs> we have the waffle maker lifter action. Here's a short infomercial on waffle maker lifter action. Full screen. Full screen. Full screen. <laughs> pictures of how the machine actually works. So we start out, uh, the crank there, it actually functioned as a wheel and axle, with the long crank being the wheel and that small gear up there functioning as the axle. From there, this gear acts as a driver, the small one. The big gear is the driven, and since this one's so small and that one's so big, we end up with the gear ratio of five right here. Uh, from there, the driven gear uh, spins this axle, so that this will turn and pull the string down. That string leads up to a fixed pulley, and that pulley leads to an inclined plane, or that string leads to the inclined plane and attaches to the weight, so when you crank uh, the crank, the weight will get pulled up. These are some of our mathematics or complex formulas that I'm sure none of you would understand. <laughs> Uh, the IMA of the wheel and axle is 16.4. Uh, that's pretty darn high. Uh, IMA of our fixed pulley is 1, as it will always be. Uh, IMA of the inclined plane is 1.07. So there is a very slight purpose in having it there. 
Um, gear ratio is 5. The IMA times the gear ratio is 87.7. Our total AMA was 17.2, which was much lower than our IMA times our gear ratio, but still quite high. So therefore, our percent efficiency is around 20%. <laughs> <laughs> You are welcome. Yeah, buy the waffle maker and lift yeah, your own If you're tired of lifting your waffle makers, buy your waffle maker lift your own today. <laughs> <laughs>